Pisces. Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. I hope you guys are doing well and I thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. If at any time, Pisces, you resonate with this reading, please go ahead and hit that like button. Um, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't for somebody else. I may say some things that do sound like your story and then I might say something that you know is not part of your story that is normal and natural in regards to um the size of the collective that I'm tapping into <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get right into it and see what messages come through for you at this time all right we have pain as the first card out. And then we have cleanse and sadness. <clears throat> Forgive me, I'm a Taurus, so my throat is always doing something here. Um, pain, cleanse, and sadness. When I first saw this pain card right now come out for you, my initial thought was pain takes you to success, right? It's the way to growth. And I feel like you might be grieving a situation here, especially with sadness. Okay. You have comfort right after that. Um, I, you're in the process of cleansing yourself, clearing out blocked energy, stagnant energy, painful energy. Um, and as soon as you go through this process, you'll start to see growth and expansion take place in certain areas of your life. It is a process. <clears throat> It is a process. It is something that we all go through. And I apologize if that's what you are currently experiencing at this time. Let's go ahead and um, jump into this here. For Pisces, please. Messages for Pisces. Are right, you the King of Swords? The King of Cups? Very direct information coming towards you. I feel like this King of Cups is... is representing you but maybe there was some type of truth that was recently discovered or revealed in regards to a loss here with the five of pentacles this could be a job loss could be a loss of a relationship but it's <clears throat> whatever it is it has triggered or tapped into a abandonment wound and you could also be dealing with somebody here who uh is in the pro they're currently in spiritual pro poverty all right, they're lacking a connection and a relationship with their creator. All right, you have the emperor here. The eight of pentacles. The page of cups. Judgment. The six of cups. And the nine of swords somebody could be working towards something in regards to a child <clears throat> and there's a decision that needs to be made and they're nervous about this <sighs> all right what is the lesson here what does pisces need to be focused on please what is the lesson at hand what do they need to be focused on you have the queen of pentacles the knight of pentacles And the Eight of Cups. Um, I feel like this has to do in regards to a decision or somebody making an offer to somebody, either at a distance or wanting to travel towards them. I'm, I'm also hearing like it took a long time or something took too long. Okay, and there was a separation here with the Hermit. <clears throat> yeah, definitely something that was at a distance. And that was on a pause here. Why is the King of Swords here? What did the uh, King of Swords bring in, please, for Pisces? The Page of Pentacles. So there could have been new information and or an apology trying to create balance in a situation where there was loss. Or somebody was making an offer or like, I almost feel like this is somebody tiptoeing in like, hey, is everything, how you know, testing the waters here. King of Cups. The high priestess 
hidden emotions. So whatever this King of Swords said or brought up towards you, <clears throat> I do feel like it, it brought up hidden emotions. It brought up some type of information or triggered something that you were not expecting. And then you have the Queen of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. Somebody just had the wrong intentions. Could be dealing with an Aries here. Um, but their intentions were... There's no growth here with the Five of Pentacles. Could this have been in regards to work? <clears throat> Can I have one more on this Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, please? The Six of Wands. Yeah, see, somebody operating from pride... And I, I, I don't know why there's like a big wall up or some type of defense here against what we're being offered. It just looks like it's, con it's, it's difficult, whatever this is. And maybe while you're trying to build something or level up, there's other energies around that are trying to keep you down here or you experienced a great loss here. King of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, please. Yeah, you had a new idea. New idea, go for it, it will work. So that's what this King of Swords, or you may have gotten this idea yourself with the King of Swords, and you maybe you were trying to keep it a secret so that somebody wasn't taking it from you because it's Five of Pentacles. It's like it came up as a loss. Could be dealing with a Gemini here, or you, yeah, that has to do with communication. Now, interesting, because this was on the bottom of the deck when I pulled out new idea. It says, black magic is being done, it will be rejected, and it's landing on top of the high priestess. And then you have the queen of wands. So there's somebody here who, like I said, really has negative energy, negative intentions, that they're purposely trying to send your way or put in the way of what you're trying to create. Because you are a star seed here, okay? So whoever this queen of wands is, they just don't want to see you. They just had empty intentions. They don't, they like causing pain for some reason. I'm not sure who this is or why. Could be this emperor energy. Yeah, I'm getting goosebumps as I bring this up. Okay, so that's validation for me. All right, you have the emperor, the eight of pentacles, and the page of cups. There could be um, a business offer that you are focused on, trying to work on here. But with this page of cups, I don't know if you're carrying the whole weight on your shoulders and somebody else just barely puts anything into it. Or if there's like a new little offer that comes out of nowhere. Why is this emperor here for Pisces? Yes, the seven of wands. I feel like somebody's trying to steal something from you. Eight of Pentacles and death. You could lose your job or somebody's trying to, t it has to do with your ideas and your creativity here. And it might be putting everything on pause here. Now, if it isn't your job, if this doesn't have to do with your job, it has to do with something that you're working towards and what you create. I mean, I, I could interpret that as children as well, Pisces, but really what I'm seeing is this emperor is extremely defensive and not willing to change their perception or budge. And I, I, I feel like they're wanting to keep you stuck and blocked. And it seems like somebody was trying to put intentions, depending on which realm you are existing in and aware of. It was either somebody putting negative intentions on your finances or somebody actually putting death magic on your finances, on your work, uh, to prevent it from stopping, to prevent you, you from experiencing some type of growth. What is this page of cups? The knight of swords. See, mm, give me one more on this page of cups and the knight of swords. It's like they're rushing in to say something. King of wands, two of cups, seven of swords. Can you give me one more, please? Knight of swords, page of cups. The knight of cups and the five of cups. Okay, so knight of seven of swords. Um... Man, whatever is going on, it's creating a lot of sadness and it's creating endings, okay? There's a lot of regret and remorse in a situation that somebody is trying to put behind them. 
I also kind of feel like this is like a coulda, woulda, shoulda type of energy. Like I should have done this or I should have. But this Knight of Swords, it's like they just want to argue. Why is the Emperor here with the Seven of Wands, please? Timeline jumping, yeah. You have to protect your space and your peace because you're in the process of creating rapid success for yourself there is somebody here that's going to look at this it says they are being found out lies will be exposed and then i have spell work backfired you are protected so somebody's intentions towards you are about to be revealed and it's they're they're proving to be unsuccessful whatever this is that they were trying to create for you it's going to be unsuccessful yeah they are lying to you so somebody's lying to you on the bottom you have a loved one who has passed away protects you. Clarify, please. This could have to do with children, child support, custody issues. Like I said, I saw children in the beginning as well. And then Taurus energy here. So high priestess and the hierophant on the table, the high priest on the table. There's a decision that's going to be made here, but you have a higher wisdom and a higher knowing of what's actually going on. You could be dealing with a cancer and it says this person or situation is unstable. Uh, this may have to do with a marriage or something very traditional or family matters. Somebody feels like they were left out or they were abandoned. And that's what's, I don't know how to, like, I don't know if it was within a love relationship or it's almost like they felt like they were left out of your ideas or left out of your plans or your, your yeah, your plans, your investments. And that might be where this jealousy or frustration is coming from. You have judgment, the six of cups and the nine of swords. So somebody's really nervous about a decision that is going to be made in regards to this particular uh, partnership. You have the Queen of Swords here. Interesting, because we started with the King of Swords. So this, this Queen of Swords is making a choice. They're making a decision. It does look like they want to bring something up from the past and possibly reconcile a situation. What is the Six of Cups, please? This could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Four of Pentacles. Somebody's keeping something to themselves, or they're holding on to a child. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles with the moon. Somebody's using a child as leverage. Why is the Nine of Swords here with the Ten of Wands? I feel like this stress that comes in this, this anxiety with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands, it creates a burden. And it's also more like, you know, why does it have to be so difficult? I don't, I don't. This isn't what you were looking for. You don't, I don't want something to be difficult, right? Um, but somebody's holding on to the past very, very, very tightly. And that is also what is creating a lot of this, um, these blockages, these, these road bumps, this pain, okay? Someone's making it more difficult on themselves. And I don't feel like this is entirely you, Pisces. I think you... you you're the one that's going to come out of this unscathed. Yeah, this is something with the family. Issues with the immediate family here. And decisions have to be made. Something's going to be brought back up to try to heal it. Again, spell work backfired. You are protected. Whatever intentions this person has towards you. Number one, it's not positive. But number two, spirit keeps trying to tell you it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what their intentions are because it's not going to work because you continue to show up. You continue to push through no matter how. Yeah, look at this on the bottom. You are under attack, spiritual warfare. It's not it, you're you're going to make it through, though. Do not trust them. I feel like you're releasing yourself from this situation. Dark entities are around and attached to you and or doesn't mean they are. Sorry. But there are dark entities around and it's coming from whoever's trying to send you these negative intentions. Someone is guilty and spirit is saying, let go and let God. And what did I say earlier? The past is holding you back 
You must release. That's why you have the Eight of Cups. So if there's a new opportunity, Pisces, or new offer that's showing up in your timeline, I feel that Spirit is telling you to go that way. Even though it might cause you pain and sadness, it is the way that you are supposed to go. It is where you are supposed to be. All right, let's see here. We're going to go down the list of um, Zodiac. So if you're dealing with an Aries Pisces, all right, if you're dealing with an Aries, it says freedom needed, comparing options, and sexually compatible. If you're dealing with a Taurus, smothering, make it official, moving in together. If you are dealing with a Gemini, beautiful energy, the answer is yes, make the first move. If you're dealing with a Cancer, let the past go, prideful and abandoned. If you're dealing with a Leo, grows in time, codependency, karmic cycle. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they will call, contact within a month, show affection. If you're dealing with a Libra, planning for the future, start a family, spend time traveling. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, wow, that's a lot. Okay, online dating, feeling depressed, flirty energy and stay together. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, soulmate, heartbroken and deceiving you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, immature, daydreaming about you, delays ahead. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, divine union, coming to an end, faithful. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, discovery period, narcissist, build the foundation. On the bottom, the overall energy for you guys, Pisces, is no longer interested, unsure of desires, and apology needed. Pisces, whatever you're going through, I send you my love. I send you prayers uh, as you navigate your way through this particular lesson in your life journey. I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I will see you guys next week.